everyone welcome we're out at lunchtime on thursday the 14th of october i believe 14th of october where's october gone everyone um it's recovery week um had my second dose of pfizer vaccine on sunday um cooked for a couple of days um it was recovery week anyway knowing that that vaccine was coming um but yeah so doing more hiking the one of a brand doing more hiking um, the running this week let the body recover from the big four weeks it's had um as we ramp up the k's and the time on the feet and the weights and the core sessions um all part of mission 231 so yeah more hiking this week so out for a hike a 60 minute hike i may do some running on the flats we'll see try and keep myself patient and stick to the plan which is the hiking got to get those muscles trained um, because you know if you hit a point which no doubt I will um, in a 231 kilometer event race then you have to hike if you haven't trained for it it's going to get hard harder than it already is so yeah important to train the muscles for the hiking as well as the running so that's what we're out doing today in a new set of shoes trying um, for the first time we'll give you a shot of them Salomon S Lab Ultra, um, recommended by the Sensei Craig, that is, my running buddy. And Lucy Bartholomew wore them um, when she did her FKT, fastest known time, on the Lara Pinta um, earlier in 2021. And her movie's out. Um, shout out to Lucy and her movie um, that gets released early November. Keep an eye on Instagram and Facebook for the details there. Um, should be good. Covers her whole journey on the lower printed trail so i'm really keen to see it um be real inspiring okay i'm gonna go and hike run with heart so we're heading up our first incline um we've been going and we have to calculate how i forgot to start my watch it's always a good thing and you're out for a time we're out for 60 minutes i don't know if i said that earlier um, it says 11.41, it's about 19 minutes we've been going for, 20, 20 minutes or so. So a third of the way there, on our first incline, it's got me puffing. Assume it's a vaccine, who knows. Anyway, it's nice to be out. It's not a bad day, it looks like it's going to rain. No surprise there lately. Um, but yeah, just trying to focus on with my hiking, my pace. Um, I've said in other vlogs, I tend to drop a lot in my walk, in my pace. So, just trying to really focus on keeping that steady rhythm. So not slow start, slow start. It's a bit of purpose about it, I guess, with each step. Shoes aren't going too bad. So the idea of the different shoes, you get different conditions you run in, obviously, um, especially on the trails. Um, compared to the roads, you now we can have muddy, rocky, wet, slippery, dry, sandy, like you know, the list goes on. And so, one, it's important to have shoes that I guess uh, some are better in those conditions, they're designed. You get bigger lugs on the bottom um, when needed for the muddier, slipperier stuff. So these ultras are meant to be a lighter shoe and obviously more durable um, for the longer stuff. Compared to my sense, my sense rides that I wear, the sense ride three, I don't know if I'd say they're noticeably different lighter. Um, they're definitely they're definitely more streamlined if that makes sense, more fitted. Um, not that the other ones are big on me, but yeah, these just feel more fitted or streamlined. So maybe in that sense, maybe the feeling of being lighter. It's interesting to look at the specs and just see the difference in weight between the two. Um, these, which annoying me to start with, is the little shoelace. They've got the quick lace system. So instead of your standard traditional shoelace where your tie and bow, do a bow tie or whatever, 
these have you draw it hold the thing draw it tight and then you're meant to wrap it around the end making a lot of sense i'll have to show you and it tucks into a little pocket in the tongue once monique showed me how to do it with my sense ride it was quite easy and made sense before that i was tucking them in looping it under and tying it in the laces themselves these ones though and that's my complaint at the moment it's a lot harder to get the pocket open and the shoelace in once you've wound it up um it's sort of the pocket opening sort of sits under the top of the lace if that makes sense i'll try and give a demo that'll make sense then andrews is waffling okay i'm near the top of this hill i'm gonna leave you in peace and focus on the hill and enjoy nature Thanks for support everyone. And so it looks like we're getting a bit of a bit of a storm, so the rain jacket's on. Um Yeah, it's you can see it. I don't know if the phone picks up the darkness. I don't think it looked that bad, I didn't think it was gonna get that bad. We had a bit of hail just coming down. And now it's stopped. Yeah, up here I can see the rain hitting the water, about 20 metres in front of me. Anyway, we're decked out, ready for it, if it hits. Um, we're sitting, what are we sitting at as I cover the screen? Um, we're about 45 minutes, so we're about 15 minutes away from, well, what should be the finish line. Um, on my hiking pace currently, it's not 15 minutes. Probably 20, uh, 25 maybe. Anyway, having a good day out, listen to Courtney DeWater podcast um learning a bit from her as she chats chats to Debo um interesting she's not on Strava and she doesn't have a coach and she doesn't have a training program does it all on feel I like the thought of that be interesting to experiment with hmm food for thought run with heart everyone I love it how you can be in the bush, beating your way through. And like you look here, and this is the path I'm following as I try and find a path. And you feel like you're miles from anywhere. But houses are right there, 20 metres from the fence. Like, it's pretty awesome. And up there, the thunder is a rolling. Hopefully, it will just make it home. Before it gets any worse, uh, sitting about 57 minutes as I fight my way through. There, yeah, it's been a good day. I ran for about 50 meters, um, have hiked the rest, and that was enough. Um, could really notice the shortness of breathing and that. I'm um, going up the climbs, trying to get some elevation in there, not too much. Um, it is a recovery week, we've had two big weeks of elevation. Um, I guess not big in the sense of what some of you know <laughs> the elite run um, and probably what I need to end up getting to um, in my peak training for Sonda Monster next year but yeah two big weeks of uh, plus 2,000 meters elevation I'm real happy with that and hitting the two and a half last week was yeah really pleasing okay I'm gonna keep on hiking through before the storm hits again And we made it everyone, you can see the storm right there. It's going to be a good one I think. Um, I think we've hit about 5-10 minutes. We've been going for about 65 minutes. I'm um, not sure what we've covered distance wise, elevation wise. As Courtney says, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're on track recovering this week, making sure we're fresh to tackle again the distances next week. Um, all part of Mission 231. Check out the show notes below um, if you'd like to donate to the cause, be much appreciated. We're chasing that target of $23,100. A little bit counts. Thanks, everyone.